What is thyroid disease and why is it affecting my heart? Jason, my doctor just told me I have some kind of thyroid disease and it's affecting my heart. What does that mean? Well, it sounds like you either have an overactive or a lazy thyroid. Let's talk about it. Hello, welcome to Cardium. I'm Jason Moran and today we're talking about your thyroid. Now the thyroid is this butterfly shaped gland here in your neck that produces hormones, thyroxine and triiodothyroxine, but you'll most commonly refer to them as T4 and T3. These hormones are like gasoline to a car engine. If you press down on the gas pedal in your car, the engine revs up and the car goes faster. If you take your foot off the gas pedal, the engine slows down and eventually just comes to an idle. Well, the same principle applies with the thyroid. An overactive thyroid produces too much hormone, causing the heart to rev up and run too fast. This can cause strange heart sensations called palpitations and even lead to irregular heart rhythms like atrial fibrillation. For more information on atrial fibrillation, check out our video called, What is Atrial Fibrillation? Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have the lazy thyroid. Now this slacker doesn't produce enough hormone, causing the heart to slow down and idle. This makes the heart inefficient and can lead to heart failure. Now for more information on heart failure, check out our video called, What is Heart Failure? So what can I do about it? Well, if you have a lazy thyroid called hypothyroidism, it's kind of a simple solution. Many doctors will prescribe a replacement hormone. Oftentimes it's levothyroxine or synthroid. This may assist or even reverse heart conditions that are caused by hypothyroidism. On the other side though is the overactive thyroid called hyperthyroidism. Your doctor may try medications like mithmazole or tepazole to slow down the effects of the thyroid hormones. This oftentimes helps to control atrial fibrillation but side effects like itching are somewhat common. In severe cases, your doctor may decide to destroy or remove the overactive thyroid tissue. This will require a lifetime use of thyroid hormone pills, but can correct several complications and even reverse atrial fibrillation. Well, that's it for this video here at Cardium. If you found this helpful, be sure to like us, leave me a comment below. Also, please hit that subscribe button below for more great information. If you have questions or want to see anything in future videos, let me know and I'll be happy to address it. Until next time, y'all take care of each other.